Frankfurt, Kentucky. AP, Kentucky lawmakers, many not wearing masks, voted Thursday to scrap a statewide mask mandate in public schools and shifted masking decisions to local school boards, acting in a special session as the state's worst COVID-19 surge threatens to overwhelm hospitals. The GOP-dominated legislature set education policies in response to disruptions caused by the virus, which has forced dozens of school districts to close classrooms. The masking provisions sparked emotional debate on the third and final day of the special session called by the Democratic governor to address the pandemic. Governor Andy Basir responded late Thursday night by vetoing portions of the bill nullifying mask mandates for K-12 public schools and child care centers. Republican lawmakers quickly overrode his vetoes, completing their work to end statewide mask mandates. Lawmakers ended the special session soon after that. This year's veto message referred to masks as a safe and effective way to combat the spread of COVID-19. The governor previously issued statewide mask mandates and recently said he thought another mask order was needed to confront the current surge. The special session marked a power shift in the state's response to the virus. Throughout the pandemic, this year acted unilaterally in setting statewide virus policies, saying his actions saved lives. Republicans branded his actions as overly broad and stringent. The special session comes as Kentucky's hospitals struggle with a record influx of virus cases. This year warned Thursday that only 90 adult intensive care beds were available statewide. He noted nearly two-thirds of Kentucky's hospitals face critical staffing shortages, and more than 300 Kentucky National Guard members will be headed to 21 hospitals to assist health care workers. Our hospital situation has never been more dire in my lifetime than it is right now, this year said. Working late into the night, Republican lawmakers asserted their newfound dominance in shaping Kentucky's pandemic policies, the result of a state Supreme Court ruling last month. The court cleared the way for laws to take effect limiting the governor's emergency powers to impose virus restrictions. The governor responded by calling the legislature into session. The school-related bill nullified the state school board's requirement that anyone in public K-12 schools wear a mask. It also ended a separate state mask mandate for child care centers. Another bill-winning final passage Thursday night imposed a prolonged ban on any statewide mask mandate, leaving masking decisions up to local governments and businesses. It was part of a broad measure addressing medical staffing, vaccines, tests and treatments related to COVID-19. This year also vetoed mask provisions in that bill. Republican lawmakers swiftly overrode that veto as well. The legislature also passed a measure to appropriate more than $69 million in federal funds for pandemic-related efforts.